You guys know what time it is. It's time for our monthly haul. This is like my favorite thing to film now. Um, I'm doing it sitting down now because there's not a lot of clothes this month. I'm really, really trying to use everything I have, reuse my bodysuits, my basics. There's a reason I only buy basics. So that's where we are right now. But there's a few clothing items I ordered from Shein that I'll try on after this. This is like half unboxing, half haul because I haven't opened some of the things. So here we go. So he was having a Labor Day buy one get one free sale. So I bought four of the minis this time in new colors that I don't own. I'm gonna go through the colors. This one is, I believe, bronze and burgundy. I love this one. It's like perfect shade for fall. Then we have, honestly, some of these I can't tell the shade color until I put it on and it reflects off the light. Okay, this one is the orange with the black. I've really been loving this one. I wear this one every day, usually, because it, it tends to match with more of my fits. Then, this one's really nice. I have a similar pair. This one is the, I haven't even worn this one yet. This one is the gold and black fade. The gold rim is honestly something a little out of my comfort zone, but I like it. Sunglasses, I feel like, are such a good accessory. I used to never wear sunglasses, and now I feel like like pairing your sunglasses to your outfit is like the most fun thing to do when you're getting dressed. And then this one also I've been wearing a lot. This one is black smoke. So it's not like the original black with the mirrored lenses and it's like matte black frame. I love this one. It just makes me feel like I'm like an investigative TV show, you know, main character vibes always. Next, Shein. I haven't ordered from Shein, honestly, since Black Friday of last year, so. I'm excited. So I ordered black and white basics, basically. Um, I think everything total came out to less than $50, which is amazing. So the first thing I got, wow, this is like towel fabric. Okay. Okay, I'm not intrigued whatsoever. So it's like this halter top. Okay, wow, I... Um, this is gonna be interesting to wear and then it has like this tie that like crosses back Ugh, i'll show you guys when i wear it but um look at this is this towel is this velvet i don't i don't know what this is it looks like ribbed cloth so i'm i got bamboozled by number one number two i got two of these shoulder pad tops one black, one white, and this looks very big. So the shoulder pad seems to only be on the outside. It's only from here to here. Okay. Looks promising. I like that the sleeve cutout is not huge. Some of the some of these shoulder pad tops, the sleeve cutout comes to like here and you have to wear something to cover your bra and it's a mess. So it might be a little big, but We'll try it on. And then I got the same thing in white. I like the white. Then, ooh, this one I'm excited. I'm hoping it's cute. This is giving me very much Gossip Girl, School Girl vibes. Um, I've been seeing this a lot in the stores, so I thought I would pick one up. It's a long sleeve colored polo type tee and it's not super totally cropped which is nice oh i like this one and it's soft we approve we love then i did something a little risky for me i don't usually wear things like this but um we're all about going out of our comfort zone so i ordered a vest oh wow she's cute a vest blazer Wow, Ooh, hoo, hoo. I like this one. Okay, cute. I can't wait to try this on. I have a few outfits in mind that I wanna do with that. This top, don't mind my um, everlasting Florida tan. This top is actually much cuter on than I thought. This is the one that had like a towel, velvety type 
um, like fabric. I tied it super botched up. I just tied it in the back like this, but I'm gonna keep this one. I'm, I'm digging this with like some nice black jeans or like a black skirt. This is really cute. This is probably the wrong thing for me to wear this vest with, but um, can we take a moment for this? This is, does that fuck it? Oh my God. This makes me feel like, like I'm gonna take on the world, but like soft, glam, chic, and then I can close it like this. Maybe add a little belt. This is, why have I not invested in a, invested, I bought it from Shein. Why have I not, tried a vested blazer before this is i like this one this is very cute um i'm trying to scope out how i feel about it it definitely fits like how i thought i've never really worn something like this before it's more of a jersey type material like a workout type material than a cloth material so it's very stretchy i will say that it's more comfortable um when I bunch up, like roll up the sleeve, not roll up, like, um, oh my God, what is the word for this? Just like scoot up the sleeves. It's kind of tight on the underarm area, but I like this. This is cute. It would be cute with like a checkered skirt or score or like a plaid skirt and some boots or even like this with like a pair of tan jeans. I like this one. It's like a it's a good basics to have for fall, I guess. Fall in Florida. She's cute. She has a little bit of a shoulder pad action going on. Um so this is a medium. Usually I would think this is a small because usually mediums are a little bit baggier. Um, but this would be cute, like tying it out or let's see tucking it in, you know, the vibe. This is a good basics to have, and I like the proportion of the shoulder blade. Ugh, frizz, always. I like the proportion of the shoulder blade. The thing is, like, the some of these shirts with, like, shoulder pads, I wish they would stick like this. Because then when you're normal, it looks like you got a little flob going on here. But, um, it's a good basic to have. I'm pretty sure this was under $10, so I'll take it. This one is the same shirt in black and it's a medium, but this one is definitely more loose. This feels more like a medium, but same concept here, tuck it in, like it would be like this kind of vibe. I don't think I would wear these shirts just like, like a t-shirt. I feel like it looks strange on me. Um, and honestly, I've only ever seen like these types of shoulder pad tops like tucked into jeans or something. But I really think it's a good basic piece to have. I, I've seen it like all over the place or the kind of like sleeves that are slanted here. I know Zara had some, I saw some at Abercrombie H&M, et cetera. Um, but this is really cute, I like this. Overall, five out of five satisfied with my stuff from Shein. So let's go back to the rest of the haul. Moving on, from TJ Maxx, I bought Hairspray. I am not a big hair care product person. We know this. I don't usually even use hairspray or anything. I have one hairspray that I bought like three years ago and I went to use it the other day and the nozzle broke. As we can tell, I don't use hair products because this baby hair is always all over the place. But I bought this one so that I could start experimenting with my hair and also trying to like tame this, this frizz and flyaways. I need to buy those like eyelash spoolies and kind of like spray hairspray on it and go through the top of my hair. I know this brand is really good, but I've never heard of their hairspray being being good, but it was $4.99 at TJ Maxx. It's a steal. I'm going to try it out. And if I feel like I don't like it, we're going to move on to the next. Also from TJ Maxx, well, like Marshall's Home Goods, TJ Maxx, all the same. These butterfly clips I'm obsessed with. I've been trying to find clips like this for so long. I have um, clips like these two that I bought from Amazon, but they're the same size, they're just rectangle. And so I love these butterfly ones because I wear my hair half up, half down a lot. And these are like the perfect size for that. And they're just so freaking cute. Then also from TJ Maxx, I got this faux leather skirt and I'm not a skirt person. We know I've been wearing the same white midi skirt because it's like the only skirt that looks nice on me in the past few years. I'm not a skirt person, but this one is really cute and it has a little 
slit and it fits perfectly at the right place of the waist and that one was $14.99. These clips were $7.99. Moving on to Target, I got two things from their clearance section that I love rating. This one I've been using and really loving, the Cosmetica Vitamin C Serum. I had never heard of this brand, I had never used this brand, but I use it every morning as part of my skincare routine and I'm really enjoying it and I haven't broke out yet, which is super important for me, you know, my sensitive ass skin. Then I got this LA Girl Volumatic Mascara. It was $4.99 and I got it for $3.49, which is like $1.50 off, but still, we live for a deal. Um, never heard of this, but honestly, Volumizes is, is what gets me volumizing mascara is like my heart and soul. So if this actually works, it's the perfect size to keep in your bag to go. And it's um, pretty inexpensive. So here's hoping that this looks nice. Moving on to Amazon, I got two things. The first is a laptop case, it's magnetic. It's again, that faux leather. And I feel like it's just very chic, it's very business vibes. Um, I would just take my Mac on the go and it's starting to get scratches and I'm trying to keep it like pristine. So I think this was $12.99, which is pretty good. And it's like not that hard leather, which I don't like. It's very flexible and easy to work with. Love this one. Oh, I forgot for Target. I also just got another Japanese tweezer. This is my favorite tweezer. I've had mine for a few years now, so now it's not like, it's not taking out the hairs in the brows as efficiently as I would like. So I just refilled on this one and I think it's decently priced. Um, we, all, we all know how much uh, Tweezer Pro, Tweezer Man, whatever, how much that is. Another pick from Amazon, my friend actually got me this because I saw hers and I was like obsessed. I was like, I need this. And before I even went to order it, she ordered it for me. So thank you. This is the Self Care Planner. Achieve more and live better through radical self care. So it's goals, gratitudes, meals, fitness, mood, sleep. I'm actually going to open this and we can start using this in October to get stuff together i have a planner right now that i use um but it has like each each page split into like oh jesus three days but this one this one actually has no dates on it so you date every day and then it has i am grateful for every day my top goal of the day to do self-care how much water i drank my schedule exercise meals all of that um, and then I think at the beginning of each week, it has this. So it has your personal to-do, the priority, your work to-do, your hours of sleep, your overall mood, your habits. And what I really liked about it is that at the beginning, it actually like, it has a bunch of pages where you have to set reoccurring self-care acts and then like create your your vision board of like how you want to balance your life in terms of health and contribution finances spirituality it's it's i'm so excited to use this so um if you want to get your stuff together your day-to-day -day, time management is so bad for me so i feel like this is really helpful um i'm excited Next up, this is what I'm so excited for and I've had self-control because it got delivered like four days ago and I'm just now opening it, but we got Desi. Desi sunglasses. Whoa! God, I just, she could literally make anything and I will buy it. So, oh wow, I forgot how cute the packaging is. Yes! Comes with a little card. Desi Fall Collection. Very cute. Oh wow, so they changed the font on top of the box. So I got one of her new styles from her fall collection that dropped on Instagram shop. Oh, I see, it has a sleeve now. Love updated packaging. So this is what the box looks like. I'll tell you these boxes are so sturdy and I actually use them. If I'm not packing my Desi sunglasses, I take the sunglasses out and I use them as jewelry boxes to pack because it has a magnetic closure and it keeps everything secure. Oh, wow. Oh, she is chic. I've never 
bought a pair or owned a pair of sunglasses with this shape. It just looks so luxe. It's giving me high fashion Celine vibes. Celine, Bottega, all of it. Okay, wow. It's called Six Feet and it has the name of the style inside of the glasses. Very cute. Here we go, moment of truth. Wow. Okay, they're big. They're big. They're a little big for my face, but they are cute. Please, no paparazzi. They're very no paparazzi vibes. Keep your six feet distance. No, thank you. We'll see if I'll keep it, but I like what she's going for here. From Crate and Barrel, I this is dirty because I just had iced coffee in it. I emptied it to show you guys before um, I put it in the sink. But I got these like can shaped glasses for iced coffee and I love it. It's the perfect size and it's just aesthetically pleasing, you know? That is all for September's haul. It wasn't as many things that we're used to, but I think that everything was decent priced and things that I probably needed except for all of the sunglasses. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see more of these hauls and what your favorite item was.